I just want the truth. A couple hundred people came out to Boise City Hall on Friday night to protest Boise police in the recent killing of 22-year-old Peyton Wasson. Wasson was shot in the head by a Boise police officer on Saturday. Boise PD says he had a gun and was running from them, ignoring commands to stop. I could have just as easily been in the same position as Peyton. On the other side of the street, the Liberty Dogs counter-protesters were demonstrating in support of the police. Some were armed and didn't talk to us. There were some small conflicts between the groups and police responded multiple times. The Watson family was present. One speaker who knew Peyton shared the good times he had with him. You got a big smile on your face when you talk about him. How does, he, how does he make you feel when you think about him? Well, when he shows up, I just smile like this and I want to hug him. <laughs> That's really it. I don't know. He, he had some issues. He had some problems. He was kind of angry, but he was a great man. You know, anything for his friends, his brothers, he would do. Say his name! Peyton Watson! Melton says he knew Wasson since he was 11. He says Wasson had been in trouble a few times in his life, but the Wasson family still deserves the truth, something Melton thinks they haven't seen yet. I think there's a lot of hairy situations that come with like the police officers, you know what I'm saying? Because they always, they're always right. They're always winning. They have the badges. They have the guns. They have the handcuffs. We just want the truth. We want to know what happened, what was said, how it ended that way, how it couldn't have ended a separate way, and why we're here today, you know? In Boise, Brendan Jones, Idaho News 6.